Social media addiction is ruining your life. This is one of the worst habits that we've adopted in the digital age. It's sucking our energy. We cannot concentrate. We cannot focus. It's the biggest distraction in our modern times. It is holding you back from achieving the things that you want to achieve and you need to get a grip of that right now. It has so many negative impact in our life, these apps that we are wasting our life away on. Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. You tell me, is it really benefiting you really truly if you're really honest with yourself? Is it having a positive impact to your life? I know that so many, for so many of us, it's one of the biggest distraction and it's not having a positive impact. In fact, it is having a negative impact. So many people, in particular, if you're someone who has got low self-esteem and confidence, you're more likely to suffer from depression, anxiety, because on these apps, when you go onto these apps, you're comparing yourself to other people who are living their best life. Everyone looks perfect. And then it makes you feel like you are not good enough. Your body's not good enough. You don't look pretty enough. You should earn more. You should be doing this. You should be doing that. You get the gist, right? You should not be doing anything apart from getting rid of this distraction because it's so bad for you. My dears, listen to me because I've wasted too much time on these apps over the past few years. And I know how much damage it can cause. I get it. I get it. I understand that some of us, we need it. For some of us, we use it. That's our job, right? I understand. Artists, they need it to promote their work, their work so that it gets sold, so that it gets promoted. They need to use these platforms. Musicians, DJs, they use it to promote events so that people are made aware of when these events are taking place. I get it. That's when it is used as a tool. When we're using social media for business as a tool, I get it. I understand. We use it in a positive way. The problem is, I think so many of us are using it because actually it's using us. These apps are designed, my lovelies, to make you addicted. They're cleverly designed to make you addicted, to spend as much time on these apps, to hook you, to get you trapped so that you are wasting your life away. And who benefits from it? It's the people, it's the owners of these apps. So instead of letting it use you, you need to use these apps or get rid of this distraction. I was so hooked on these apps. You know, it's, it's embarrassing uh, for me to admit, but I have to be honest with you, I, every time I made a post, I would check to see how many likes I got, how many hearts, who's liked my post, who's commented, oh, they like me, they love me. Half of these people, I didn't even meet them in real life. I don't even know who they are. 
how does that even make sense that their feelings became so important to me that what they thought about me that's insane insane So when it got to the point when I realized that I was having an unhealthy relationship, I had to do something about it because really I was working on projects that I was trying to complete, that I was trying to work on, I was trying to learn new skills in my life. But when I was using social media in particular, it was Instagram I found that was really soul sucking and draining and taking all of my time. I realized that it was holding me back. I realized that I was wasting hours on end on these apps. And what was I getting back in return? Uh uh. Nothing. Numero zero. <laughs> That's what I was getting. Absolutely nothing. So when I was doing that for, I think I was doing it for a whole year, a whole year, I almost wasted. I'm never gonna get that time back. And my lovelies, I want to tell you, and I, I want to tell you that it's so easy to get caught up in these apps in an unhealthy way. And that's why it's so important you recognize when you are doing it and stop yourself from doing it and get rid of this addiction because I've seen for the past couple of months after I deleted my app and now I only use it when, as and when, very specifically, I've noticed the difference. I'm more focused, I'm able to complete projects, read more, and I feel so much better in all honesty. And I want you to realize how much time you are wasting on these apps that are not giving you anything back so that you can do something better with your life. Something that's more fulfilling and purposeful rather than just showing people what you are up to or creating this illusion of digital life that's not real. Why do we do it? Some of us may be asking, why? Do we have this social media addiction, Rosina? Well, we really have to ask this question to ourselves. You really have to ask this question to yourself and be honest with yourself. Be honest. Why do you have this addiction? I think a lot of us have this addiction because we want to escape from our reality. We want to escape from the realities we are in. So what do we do? We go into the digital world because it's like an illusion. For example, when I was bored at work before, I used to open the social media app and just waste my time on there because work was so boring. I didn't want to be in that environment. So a lot of us can get into this addiction because we want to escape the reality we are in. But instead of escaping the reality, work on changing your reality so that you don't feel like you have to escape from your reality. Because once you get into this addiction, it's like a dying, downward spiral. Honestly, you get hooked into Constantly having to feed the algorithm, please people, getting the likes, the red dot, so addictive, that notification, it's like, oh, I got a notification, you know, and then that wears off and then you want the next one and the next one is similar to drug addiction, it's the same thing. A dopamine hit every time you get a not notification or the heart, as I said before, they've designed it in a very cleverly way. So it gets you hooked and you need to become aware of that, that it is taking over your life and it's time you get a grip. So how do you know, how can you recognize that you have 
created an unhealthy relationship with social media, you've got an addiction with it, and what can you do about it? The first thing, like with any addiction, like with any addiction, is to accept that you've got this addiction. That's where it all begins. You really have to accept, I have a problem. It may be hard. I know some of us, it's hard to accept our problems, but that's where it all begins. Self-acceptance, accepting and becoming aware that you've created this unhealthy relationship. How do you know you've created an unhealthy relationship? Well, number one, you're spending way too much time on these apps, constantly checking every hour. Honestly, at one point, I think I was checking after every 20 minutes. When I was out, I was like, I need to check my phone and see how many likes I've got. Embarrassing, I know, embarrassing. But I know, I know a lot of people do this too and I'm not the only one. I know that because I've seen it around me. I've been at events when we've been at a music event, but the, there's been people in front of me who are checking how many people who ha are looking at their story on Instagram. <laughs> we are at a music event, you know, enjoy the moment. <laughs> but instead, people are more interested in living in the digital world than they are in the real world. And we're missing it all, everyone. We just, you know, it's going past us. <laughs> So the first thing is to become aware that you have a problem and you've created an unhealthy relationship with social media. When you're spending way too much time checking every hour, checking every 20 minutes for the likes and the comments, how many people are communicating with you, reacting with you. This is how you know you've got a problem when you are neglecting your hobbies. Have you put them on hold? That's how you know you've got a problem. Are you neglecting your responsibilities? Are you not making time for family, friends? All of these things. Think about how much time you are spending on social media and how it's taking over your life. That is the first thing to accept that you have a problem with social media. And once you do that, we can move to the next stage, which is to look to really look at how much damage it's causing you and how much it is holding you back from the life that you want. The one thing that really woke me up is because I have some projects that I, I want to achieve and I wanted to learn some new skills like art. I wanted to finish reading some books which I wasn't doing. So many things were put on hold during that year when I created an unhealthy relationship with social media, that's when I had to really be true to myself because I was not progressing. I was not progressing in all of these goals that I had for myself and I had to be real with myself. Rosina, you are wasting your life away. You are wasting your life away on these apps. What the hell are you doing? I had to give myself a shake, like, wake up, Rosina. Once I realized that I was wasting so much time and how much it was holding me back from what I wanted to achieve, it was like a wake up call. Like, Rosina, if you don't do something about it now, you're never gonna get where you want to get to. You're not going to achieve the things you want. So that, was a wake-up call for me. Think about the things that is holding you back from. Do you have skills that you want to learn? Do you have goals that you want to achieve? This is holding you back. It's such a big distraction. It stops you from focusing. It stops you from concentrating. It makes it so hard to really focus on things that really matter. Once you realize that, how much of a negative impact it ha it's having in your life and holding you back, then it will give you that, that push that you need to take the next steps, that kick up, that backside that you need. You need to do it to yourself and you can do it because you are going to go and achieve the things that you want and stop this habit. Once you realize that and you are ready 
to stop this habit because you know that your life will be so much better, so much more improved with so much more time with the things that really matter. You can then move to the next step, which is to delete the app, have a digital detox. Now this part is gonna be different for everyone, but you have to try what works for you. What I did was made it hard and difficult for me to access these apps. So I disabled the apps like Instagram and Facebook from my phone. So I created an arm's length. I made it difficult for me to get into these apps. Once I have my phone on my hands, I created a number of steps. So it made it less easy and I created more resistance. And I found that that really helps me because it's a bit like out of sight, out of mind. But of course, you are still going to get cravings because it becomes a habit. Once we become used to something, doing something for so long, it almost feels like your body automatically wants to do this thing because we've been doing it for so long. It's like we don't need to think. Our body just wants to do it anyway, right? That's what we call an addiction and a habit. <laughs> so you are going to get cravings, but it's how you deal with those cravings and how you respond to it. That's what's really going to matter. And that's why it's going to be different for everyone. I really recommend to at least try small steps, but maybe you could do like a day without social media, like a whole day without social media and build it up from there. You could maybe reward yourself that if you do a whole weekend without social media, maybe you could reward yourself with something that you like, something that is going to be good for you or whatever you choose for the reward to be. Give yourself a reward that you are overcoming this really challenging habit that we all have in the modern day. You know, have something to look forward to. By deleting the app, it will help you because it's a bit like someone who's on a diet and trying to lose weight. If they have so much chocolate in their hand, in their house, sorry, it will make it so difficult for them to lose weight. And it, the temptations will be there a lot more than if you wasn't to keep chocolate in the house then the temptation would be less. It would be make it so much more difficult to go to the shop and get chocolate. You might end up thinking, oh, forget it. And that's what makes it easier. That's why if you're trying to give up something, don't keep it in your house, you know? Just like that, if you delete the app from your phone, you'll create, a, you'll make it harder for you to go onto these app and waste time. So find what works for you. Maybe you could do a day, then increase it to two days then you know a whole weekend and slowly you can build from that and I can assure you you will feel so much better you'll feel proud of yourself for doing that for being able to overcome this habit that is really toxic that's taken so much of our time and you can do something so much better with your time and it moves me to the next point which is to find something else to do. As I mentioned, you are gonna get the cravings and you need to be prepared for the cravings. You need to be prepared that you are going to get that, oh, I need to check what's going on on the newsfeed, I need to check, I need to check. It's That's going to be normal. Like with any other addiction, you are going to get the craving to check your phone, to check what's happening. This is the time where you need to find other things to do. This is the best time for you to rediscover the things that you used to like doing, find things, hobbies. This is the time to make good use of how you spend your time. Distract yourself with healthy habits. Go join a art club or something, you know, start learning how to paint and draw maybe a pottery class, maybe a dance class. There's so many things that we can do that don't involve using our phone. 
and these are healthier habits you know it's it's interacting with people in real life when you really understand that there's a you know you could really immerse yourself in things in real life things that's so much more better for your soul it will be you realize that it's so much more fulfilling than wasting your time on these apps that are sucking your energy that you are posting things for people who you hardly ever even see it will, it will give you more joy it will make you less stressed less anxiety and you will feel like you are making better use of your time rather than wasting you know who feels good after spending eight hours on social media it feels rubbish do you not feel rubbish like i've just wasted eight hours i feel like you know it's almost like having junk food after you've eaten it it's like oh gosh i feel terrible but at the time it doesn't feel as bad and it's the same thing that we get from social media so if you spend your time wisely you will feel so much better you will feel so great that you're doing something productive with your time and that will have a ripple effect if you can keep it up keep it up you know you'll see the benefits of it after a period of time i promise you and then it moves me to the next point which is not everything has to be posted on social media guess what guys once upon a time we didn't have social media well during my time anyway it depends how old you are and there was still a life, there was still a world that was spinning around and we were alive. <laughs> I know these days it, we can get into the habit of, especially if we're in that habit of posting something regularly, we feel like, oh my God, you know, I didn't post today, you know, oh no, you know, what are they going to think, you know, that kind of thinking needs to stop. You know, sometimes we get the fear of missing out from these apps we feel like we are missing out on the fun and the whole you know the social media life but it's not real you need to remind yourself that it's not real you know fine if some people need to use it for their work purpose that you know for bloggers etc i get it but until you are doing it for until you are using social media as a tool you need to stop letting yourself be being used by social media because that's what it's doing your you are being used by these platforms your time your attention is the greatest currency in today's day and age and you are being used by these platforms think of it like that so understand that you know you don't have to post everything on there you know the world is still going to carry on if you don't post a picture one day you know, I realized this actually that when I challenged myself when I went to a, on a holiday a couple of months ago and I decided that, you know what, actually I'm not going to, I'm going to focus this trip purely in enjoying every moment and not having to think about taking pictures so that I can share it on social media. And let me tell you this, that holiday was amazing. I loved it. I felt so present. I never had so much fun in my life. And I think it's because sometimes when we are in events or when we are on holiday, if we in the back of our mind, we're always thinking, oh God, you know, maybe this shoot is going to look great on social media. Oh, maybe this pose is going to look great on social media. We forget to live in the moment. We are forgetting to absorb the experience around us. And sometimes, some moments, we may never get to experience again. And that's why we really need to appreciate these experiences that we have without having to feel like we have to share it with the world. Like I get it, it's okay to share now and then, but when you are constantly thinking you have to do everything for the digital world, for the posts, you really have to ask yourself the question, why? Why? And honestly, some of the people who I see that are having the most fun are the people who are not very far from thinking of taking pictures for social media. They're so caught up in having fun that they don't feel the need that they have to share it with everyone. I hope these tips have helped you 
in some form of way to maybe look at social media usage in a different way, look at how it can be very damaging if you don't create a healthy relationship with it. Once you've created a better relationship, maybe then you can start using it in a healthy way, not letting it control you. You control the social media apps. Use it if you need to for work purposes or to promote something that you're doing, if you do art or whatever it is, I think that's fine. But don't let it control you and take over your life because that's what it can do if you do not get a handle of it can easily suck you in as I mentioned in this video so use social media rather than rather than it using you and I hope you can create a better relationship with it I know I have come to a place where I have created a better relationship with it so now if I do post something you know it, it it's not going to be where I feel like I have to keep checking every half an hour or whatnot you know it's it's healthy and that's the point that that's the point we need to get to to create a healthy relationship with social media because i feel like it's not going anywhere and that's why it's important we learn we train ourselves how to be with these apps how to use these apps so that we can use it to our advantage not the other way around so I hope you found this video useful. Let me know. I would love to hear from you. What are your thoughts about social media apps? Let me know if there's something that I've not mentioned in this video that you can add. I'd love to hear from you. Leave a comment below. If you've liked this video, don't forget to like and also subscribe. It really helps and it lets me know that you like this video and I can create some more if you like it. I hope you're all doing really well and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. I'm sending you my love. Bye bye.